pastor. We, they were reading. See, what happened is we want knowledge so bad that we read anybody's book. Yes. So then, because if you look at it, in, in, some, in some jails and penitentiaries, you might find more Catholic Bibles than you find uh, King James Bible. Yeah. yeah. Their Bibles have more, uh, more books. And so people wind up reading those books. They got the Maccabees. They got this. They got this. See, what happened is it looked like they have more history in it, but it's not... Uh, documented history. Some of them they put together. Yeah, so most of it, some of it put together. So now you have people say, well, in America, because I was listening to this uh, radio station, and it was a Catholic radio station, and the guy said, he said, when he was little, a guy asked him, he said, if you, uh, how can you uh, knowingly uh, uh, worship idols, and the Bible says, speaks against it? Well, the guy said, well, you know, he says, well, God, he, he went to scriptures that didn't even, that contradicted the whole conversation. He said, well, God told Moses them to make a brazen image of this and that, you know, when he made the, I think, the little uh, serpent on the thing or something like that. He said something like that. He, he quoted the scripture out of context. And that's like, wow. That's like, how can you sit there? And say that because the Bible strictly states that you can't make anything in the image of heaven or earth or under the earth. That's right. So if you can't make any of the things in the heaven, the earth, or under the earth, then that tells us because what happened, people were making things to worship right. and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You see, God's like, you can't make anything and call yourself trying to worship it. Mm -hmm. You know, and to even if you even tried to use, even if he tried to use that particular, even by he trying to use that particular scripture out of context, that particular scripture was stating something to war off a, thing, a demonic thing, and it was, I mean, not demonic, it was used for uh, different, uh, for the holies of holies. Because this guy was talking about, you know, make the image, you know, the stuff that was placed in the holy of holies that they had to make. Right. You know, the, the, you know, the little uh, furniture they had to make. Right. Now, how did that furniture have anything to do with idols? Right. Okay? When they were supposed to be making the type and shadows of how to go into heaven, mm -hmm. how to go before the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, people read any type of Bible without doing their research and realize, and then they find themselves wondering, why am I so confused and perplexed? Why I can't get this? Mm -hmm. Because the simple fact is, the reason we get these tripped out meanings and you get to conceive, what happened is, and I'll be able to go deeper in my, my stuff uh, tomorrow. What happened is we have all these people with all these PhDs and these letters at the end and the beginning of their name mm -hmm. want to sound so deep so they'll start using the Latin version of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Hebrew and the Greek and the Bible. And so they go so deep and they use big words only to lose and confuse you. Mm -hmm. You know? So what I'm saying is, in, in, a, short, in a short nutshell, is I'm saying that if we're going to serve God, let's serve God. Amen. Okay. If we're going to pray to God, let's pray to God. And if we're going to say God, we got to know who we're talking about. Exactly. Right. See, because what happened is Catholicism came into the church so many times, and I'm going to touch on this, and I'm going to slowly close. And I'm going to touch on most of this stuff tomorrow as well. Did you know that last week, or the week before last, rather, that whole week was a week of so much different things that people fail to realize. Look at this. Have you ever heard of the school of the prophets? Every time you hear school, every time you hear a church, they talk about they got that right. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to have a school of the prophets. What we're supposed to have is a school of understanding prophecy. Okay, it is our job to understand prophecy, not understand how to prophesy. Okay, because prophesying is not important at all. Amen. It's not important. It's got perverted. Me prophesying to you is not important at all. Especially if I have a prayer life. Mm -hmm. It's not important at all because if you can't prophesy outside and you only can prophesy in the church, it defeats the purpose. It defeats anything that you can't do in the street and you only can do in the church pretty much defeats the purpose. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because if you can't prophesy in the street, it defeats the purpose. Accurately in the street, it defeats the purpose. Right. See, because once you start prophesying to people, that's the most dangerous thing in the world that you can do. See, because people fail to realize about the backlash because now you're into the spiritual realm, tapping into the spiritual realm. If you're lying, you're into witchcraft. You see? 
And see, and that's why the church is so corrupt and nobody really wants to come to church because the church has gotten so polluted and so messed up. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we had, first it started with the Pope stepping down, right? right. Yes. Well, the Pope had to step down for so many different reasons. He had to step down for his health. Right. He had to step down because some things were about to get exposed. Right. He had to step down because of uh, a lot of other things. There was a bunch of things that he had to step down for. And, uh, Leading into, either leading into his, uh, I think it was on the 18th, it was announced that he was he lost his, uh, I think he lost sight in one eye and he went deaf, mm -hmm. or he went deaf, or he, or he yeah he went he lost sight in one eye and went deaf. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hours after he announced that he was going to resign, lightning hit the, uh, the Vatican. Hit the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? Then we was expecting media, we were expecting an asteroid. A meteor is big, asteroids right. are small. Right, right. We were expecting a meteor, we were expecting asteroids to hit and miss the earth, mm -hmm. but we got but they got hit by an asteroid. Right. Uh -huh. right. I mean got hit by a meteor. Right. Notice that the meteor hit in a certain area though. Right. Certain you see, you yeah. notice that when stuff hit this nation or hit other nations, yeah. it hit those nations for a reason. At right. the same time that all this was happening, a big hurricane hit Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they didn't talk about that. The hurricane. What they were too busy talking about was about the dude, uh, the guy that uh, the police was trying to assassinate mm -hmm. and set on fire. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so we only hear what they want us to hear. Yeah, right, right. Yes. Right. But, but in the church, they're too busy trying to teach people how to prophesy and not teaching people how to walk up with their eyes open. Exactly. Right. How to walk and pay close attention to what's going on. Because you prophesy to me is not important. Right. If I can go through my whole life without anybody prophesying with me, I'll be so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, I, because most people that prophesied to me, actually all the people that prophesied to me, none of it ever came to pass. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I even heard people say, oh, I never, I'm never wrong. If you're never wrong, right. then you're the one that's prophesying to me. Right. You see? I saw people so much in error that they were trying to get me to help them. People are so much in error to the point that they were trying to ask questions of the people next to me. Oh, is that your father? I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? Then it turns around and then they try to um, prophesy to be April's father. <laughs> it's like, what? You can't win. It's like, hey, you're trying to get you into the family. Quit, huh? <laughs> you know? So as we begin to look at these things, we ask ourselves, what's going on? What's happening is that, that, that we had these different things that stuff in. Now we got these, these different things that's about to take place, but people never pay close attention to what was happening in the news. Right. We were looking at everything that we were hearing, our sisters. We were, we were listening, we were so stuck into con, uh, to carnal, being carnal-minded in carnal religion or secular churches uh -huh. and secularism yes. to the point that we've been losing. you got people boycotting TV in now. Ooh, I didn't oh, know. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah, because they they so corrupt. I mean, they, they got oh, so yes. many people on there that speak uh, so, they're so, yeah. it's not like it used everybody. to be. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody that's related to somebody that's in part of that, that movement, uh -huh. that, those those Because those, 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 you, you go on there, you might go on there as an entertainer for doing music. Mm -hmm. right. And next thing you know, you got your own talk show on TV. Yeah. Steve Harvey on there. You yeah, know? he was on that. Yeah. He was on that. But see, yeah, what happened in this secular Dr. arena, we accept everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, God you, you don't know how God's dealing with him. God's this, God that, God that. Who are you to judge? They use scriptures to justify sin. Uh -huh, yeah. Who am I to judge? Right, right. He with the first stone, he with the first, he that had no sin cast the first stone. Yeah, yeah. You know, all these scriptures are out of context to accept sin. Not knowing that if I accept the sin, then your blood is on my hands. Uh -huh. Not long that your blood is on my hands. If I die today, I gotta listen to these people poison my son. Mm -hmm. So I have to be the one that set that, that sound the alarm because I refuse to allow anybody on our watch uh -huh. to be assassinated. Mm -hmm. To walk around being in church assassinated, wondering, okay, you get to heaven, Thompson. Oh wow, I didn't, you know, this is not what they told me heaven's gonna be like. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You in hell and then you like, whoa, is this heaven? Like, wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> because what's happened is yeah. people fail to realize when you look at Hosea, uh, let's look at Hosea uh, 4 and 6, that famous scripture everybody like to quote all the time. 
See, because what happened is people quote half verses and half scriptures, and they're wondering why they're not getting any power. Because the ministry, because religion has poisoned and been diluted so long, Hosea 4 and, uh, 4 and 6. Religion has been so toxic, and it has assassinated so many people, causing so many people to even flee and get away from God. You have, religion has been diluted so much that it has lost its strength, its power, its passion, and its structure. It has, it has no structure anymore. It has no flow. It has, it has nothing anymore. It has no integrity. Because everybody said they're a Christian. You think about it. Everything and everybody can be a Christian. You think about it. Listen to these guys, the way that the, the, what they sing and how their videos look. And that's the only thing that they go, I like to thank God. But everybody felt to realize, what God are they thanking? Because there are so many gods for one heaven. So let's look at this. When we look at this, Hosea 4 and 6, we always hear people go and say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And they stop right there, right? But then, you know, they never really looked at why God said that his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. As we begin to even break that down, we begin to realize that these people are being destroyed because they're not being taught the truth. And the person that was supposed to bring them the truth is too busy trying to fulfill, is too caught up into carnality. They're too carnal minded. They're too secular. So they took out so many different things. Look at half these churches that took out half the things about God. Think about it. Look at how some of these preachers dress. They yeah. talk. They act. Yeah. Deep. Yes, yes. You know, uh, yeah. what is it? Swag. Right. Oh, my God. You know, diva for God. The diva is, is, is a, is a, what is it? It's a myth, mythology, it's a mythology, which means uh, goddess. Uh -huh. Yes. Then you got swag and swagger oh, and all this different stuff. <laughs> now, why do I need to be dressing like or sounding like the world when I'm trying to transform people's lives? Right. God, did the word not say, did Paul not say, be not of this world? Right. And look at the preachers that was on the radio talking about their daughters and sons got tattooed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, people, they justify so much stuff to the point they realize they, they want it to, because you got a lot of sororities and fraternities yeah. and uh, uh, groups, uh, reformations, and reformations were the things that were birthed, that right. birthed out the uh, Calvinism. The one save always save. Right. See what Reformation groups what they do is uh, what they do is they, they start new religions and new beliefs and new theologies. Mm -hmm. Let me turn and get up a little bit. Okay. So now look at this. So now we look at this Hosea four six. Oh, every time you look up, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? Right. But let's look at this deeper because people always quoting scriptures and reciting scriptures, uh -huh. but never really give you the real reason why my people are, what, what's the, right here tells you the side effect to what, what God is saying. He said, my people are destroyed for what? Knowledge. Now look at this, it says, because you have rejected what? Knowledge. Knowledge. I will also what? Reject thee. That thou shall what? Be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy God. I will what? Also Look at that. Mm -hmm. So it's more than because so when, there's a side effect for us ignoring knowledge. Mm -hmm. There's a side effect for us ignoring and rejecting knowledge. That, the word says our people, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But then it says it also talks about you will be no more priest to me. So that means that we got a lot of preachers up here that's preaching that in fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. that's true. So if they've been fired. And we're listening to them. We're listening to a dead person try to speak life into another dead body. How is that possible? It's impossible. But that's what's happening in many churches around the world. You got dead people trying to teach other people how to live with philosophies of prosperity, uh, scriptures contradicted. Well, these scriptures that they use for prosperity has nothing to do with finances. But then he also says that I will also forget thy children. Yeah. Wow. That's a bad part. Can you imagine why you're looking and you're wondering why God is not moving in your life and God's not moving in your life because somebody in your life has caused you to be cursed? Can you imagine that? 
Somebody in your life caused you to be cursed and you don't even know why you're being cursed because something that these did. So now we realize that we could come under curse by being under the wrong ministry. Wow. That means we can't go to any and everybody's churches. Wow. We can't sit in, we can't sit under any and everybody's feet. Right. Wow. When you wonder why all hell breaking loose in your life, you need to check. Well, if you're in the ministry, you need to check that ministry as well. As you check your life. You see, because the first thing we always check, you know, why, why, Lord, why, why? And God might say, Mike, it's not the ministry. If it's not you, then it's somebody attached to you that's causing this curse to come upon you. Yes. Wow. You need to tell me. See what I'm saying? So when we read in the Word, or we speak a scripture, or we quote or recite a scripture, let's start, let's start memorizing. That's when we study. Let's, med let's meditate as we study. And as we meditate when we study, we begin to gain what God is truly saying to us. Because once you start quoting scriptures, you lose the whole integrity of the meaning of what the revelation of what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. Not trying to say to you, is saying to you. People say trying because of the simple fact that they can't connect. That's true. As I close right here, listen to this. And like I said, half the stuff we probably talk about tomorrow. People, have you ever been someplace and somebody laid hands on somebody and they needed deliverance or something? Or they needed prayer for something? And in their prayer, or they needed healing. Let's try that. They needed healing. And all of a sudden the person said, you know, they went through the theatrical emotions and everything, but they didn't get healed. Okay? Or they were believing God for something and didn't get it. They said, well, I tied and nothing happened. Or you lay, and the preacher prayed for me and nothing happened. Well, the first thing that a secular preacher would say, or a carnal preacher would tell you, is, and it's because somebody told me this before, and I was like, no, 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 no. I've been tithing, and, you know, and, I mean, the more I tithe, the more my money is, you know, it's like I'm, I'm struggling. You know, I shouldn't be struggling when I'm looking at my checkbook, and the church name is halfway, it's all, it's all through my books. So then he said, well, if you, if you uh, that means that there are some sin issues in your life. Or some, some areas in your life that you lack faith. Uh -huh. If God, if you're supposed to lay hands on, on somebody, they, they lay hands on sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, your healing has nothing to do with that person that's laying hands. Yes, the healing has something to do with God moving. Right. It has nothing to do with nobody's faith. Because your faith already stepped in line when you stepped up there and started doing this or whatever, what you do, this or this or whatever you did to... To, to want to get the, the, the interaction. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when somebody say, well, you can't, you, the reason you get it because it was a sin issue, or you didn't get it because My your faith, or, you know, you, the reason you didn't get it because the person that was praying for you, or the person that called himself laying hands or whatever, they're pretending, and they're praying on you. Yes. Pretending and praying on you. They're, pre they're pretenders praying on you. Okay. Okay. Back to this. Praying on your emotions. Causing you to get what? Physically crippled. Wow. As they spiritually gain in your life. What did they gain? They gain control to manipulate. That's why you have so many people. You have all these women in churches. And you ever go to the church where you see nothing but women? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, that, and those, those churches stay open a lot yeah. because it's a spiritual game. What happened is, that, and then you wonder, and then when a man comes, they tear that dude up. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, and they start going, you know, a man this, a man that, you know, and they start saying, well, you know, a man should this, a man should that, and he's like, wow, is God a woman? Is God a man? <laughs> See, because he said God created man in His own image, right? That's right, right. Yes. Okay. Now, and out of Adam, out of Adam came who? A woman. The woman came out of Adam. Right. Mm -hmm. So why is the man being assassinated when he comes to church? Right. That's true. Because as soon as the man gets assassinated, because this it's like this, and I'm going to close this fine. That's right. You know, preach close. Uh. <laughs> it's like this. Right now, we're dealing with an issue where they want to disarm America, right? Yes. They're talking about the guns, right? right. Yes. Now, I'm not saying that I'm against it uh -huh. or for it. But pay close attention because what happened is we pay so much kids. It's just like if you write on um, Facebook, why are people gay? Everybody's quick to step on it and get religified, but people never tell you it's because of a spirit, all right? Mm -hmm. 
And, 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 and these spirits attack people either in the womb or somewhere in their life, causing them to be the way they are. Okay? Now, so this disarm in America, right? Now, if they disarm America and give us nothing but little BB guns and uh, slingshots, that means guns that only you know shoots a couple of ammunition, five, six months, you know, pack, pack. Or they shoot and they only can go so far when the martial law kick off or the or the uh, the big invasion come. Now when I say invasion, I'm not talking about from out from out of space. Because there's not a such thing as aliens, there are demons. Right, I know. But when the big invasion comes, and then the end time comes, it really comes where you where it comes to the point where you either had the choice between being beheaded. Or, or, or whatever, how they're going to decide to kill us, or take the mark, right. you can't defend yourself. So if they're picking, they're working on trying to they disarm America, that means that the end time, that means that this chip is coming, which is supposed to come through the new Medicare. Okay? So we're supposed to be taught not how to prophesy, but how to interpret prophecy that is taking place now. See, because what's, what's happening is people are saying, oh, wow, you know, and they were born this way. And then some people get real, right? I mean, want to fight you about this, real, not, not realizing that that came in through either something you ate. I mean, when I mean something you ate, it's meaning that there are certain foods that cause a chemical imbalance that causes uh, uh, people to be born with both uh, hormophrodites. Mm -hmm. uh, certain foods that cause, because we had the question coming here. Uh, why? Yeah, I, I, I started the question off because I was like, you know, remember back in the day you could go anywhere and get chicken wings? Yes. Chicken wings and mouse sauce and fries. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, in some place you go and they, they call them buffalo, I guess, because they the big fat ones. And then some place yeah. you go to small ones. But, they, you know, it's some way, somehow there's some way that the restaurant cook them just right. Mm -hmm. Well, back in the day they used to say, and I'm not 100% so, true of how it was, but they used to say that the reason that you have more sterile women now is because, especially in the black neighborhood, is because there are certain restaurants, I think like, Kate, it was like, uh, I think it was supposed to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. Somebody was supposed to be owned by the Ku Klux Klan. Right. They, were sterile, they were putting stuff in the uh, chicken right. that caused sterilization. Then you had malt liquor, huh? Church. It was churches, okay. <laughs> and then it was uh, the malt liquor. I didn't know that you only could get it in the black neighborhood. I didn't know it until I moved up north. And a white guy went into the store to get a, go get a malt liquor. I started saying that. <laughs> to get a malt liquor, right? This was like a long time ago. And because like a lot of neighborhoods that's turned, that, that have been uh, what they call up and coming, they moved. That's, that's how you know the neighborhood is changing, is when they move the liquor stores out. And they call it up and coming because they're moving the blacks out and they move in the whites in, or they move, if, you, if you're if black, you gotta be really on the lap, okay? And the only people that wind up going to jail, and that's in politics, is the ones that either did something against the system, right. okay? Now, anyway, so as we begin to look at this, I didn't know that malt liquor was only sold in black neighborhoods, mm -hmm. until this white guy went into the store and asked for uh, a certain um, beer, mm -hmm. and I realized that it wasn't sold. Mm -hmm. It wasn't sold in that area. And then somebody said, no, it's only sold in, 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 in urban areas. Mm -hmm. They don't call it black neighborhoods, it's an right. urban right. area. Yeah. It's only sold in an urban neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't know that they had uh, certain foods that they feed certain inmates to make them be the way they are. Right. Either, right. Right. Yeah, either be sterilized, right. to, uh, to be more uh, violent, mm -hmm. or to be more uh, to feminine. Be feminine, or to make them make their hormones kick in right. yeah, to the point that they start trying to do you know, homeowner, right. th you know, gay things in, in, right. in jails. Mm -hmm. See, people fail to realize that they are being programmed through food. Wow. Sexuality is being programmed through food. Look at the little girls now. Look at the little boys. Mm -hmm. You got little boys, uh, nine, ten years old, look like they grown. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, look at the women now. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because the lady got on the bus, I was like, yeah. she said, she's only six. I was like, you kidding. She said, no, I'm not. <laughs> You know, and see, that's the thing. And people fail to realize these different things. We're not taught, we're not called, not once in the Bible they say you shall prophesy. Right. No. You know, he said your young men shall dream dreams and then the old men shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. But yet, I don't remember reading someplace in there else where it says, oh, everybody's going to prophesy. Every right. time you get a chance, prophesy. Prophesy. No, we have to learn how to interpret prophecy, mm -hmm. the signs of the times. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Because a lot of things that happen in time 
repeats itself. Right. Have you ever heard of time yes. repeats itself? Yes. How many of you ever been stuck in a deja vu moment? Yes. 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 And see, when you're stuck in a deja vu moment, sometimes if you walk, if you just flow with it, it seems as if you can tell every single thing that's going to take place. But once you break that deja vu, it's like you get sick. You get nauseated in the stomach, you want to throw up because you broke things. See, because it's like this. Although, and I got to close on this one. Although, there are so many different things that are taking place that the church is keeping us blind to, to the point that when, when the end comes, we're not going to even know what it is. We're going to, we're going to, see, because a lot of people don't accept these new health care things. The new health care thing stays, and, and that's what you got the, the, the chip in. The ch and then you got the people, because what happened is the Bible speaks about what happens to, it's like a reaction that takes place with that chip as well. Mm -hmm. You know, like when it, it causes some type of rash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. See? Yes. Oh, yeah. So as we begin to look at it, you can walk into the store, and when you walk into the store and get all your stuff, uh, you know, once you're done, all you got to do is just grab it. Because you notice that we, we came from having cash to just walking around with a car. Right. They're really, really pushing the car. Yeah, think about it. We're I ain't got so comfortable with having a car that I don't even know how to act with cash at times. Right. Sometimes I hold on to cash like I'm collecting coins. You know, I'm like holding on. And then it's like I go to the store, right? And I got a cash in my pocket, right? It's like at our job, we get we had the Christmas bonus. Like, I've got this cash in my pocket, right? And then I got my card. Now, I can use the cash to pay my card off, but I got this cash in my pocket like it's a bunch of, like I'm going to, uh, what's that place where you go to cash coins in at? Oh, oh them coins. Those yeah. coin machines. No, no, no. You know, the, like, they, just, they got a place downtown where you take money and you can go and they, they can tell you if the money have value. So oh, maybe, okay. Yeah. You can get a penny. A penny could be probably worth $100. And it depends on the year and if it's missing, or that buffalo quarter, yeah. or that uh, the one, the quarter that, that, that was missing one of the legs, or yeah. had an extra leg, something like that was more. You had a quarter, you had a quarter that was worth $2, $3. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? See, but we fail to realize that we have gotten caught up into secularism to the point that they're taking so much stuff out of the church to the point that we, we're, we're not preaching to people, we're just entertainers. Yeah. And then people go home, beat up, abused, and, and going through and going through and thinking that if, okay, I pay my tithe, I give my offering, it's all good. But if you're going to do tithe and offer, know the meaning behind why you're doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then you begin, because there's tithes and offerings, and then there's offerings. Mm -hmm. And there are different types of offerings. That's why I always say put the name on that offering. You know, during the week, pray over the envelope. If you ain't got an offering, just pray over it. So when you get your offering, you can put the offering in. You know what the scriptures, you know what to meditate on so that you can know what to do, how to, you know. So when your seed comes, you're not sharing your seed with everybody unless God told you to share it. Oh, wow. You know? Right. And see, that's why we, why we got ourselves like, man, like every, it's like, you ever, you, ever, you ever put money in a pocket and didn't know it had a hole in it? Or you knew it had a hole in it, but then you was like, you know, as long as I keep my hand on it, it's not going nowhere. But then you forget to get a hole in it. Or you put that pair of your pants on, and you put it, and all of a sudden you put your money in, and it just go shh. I used to lose a lot of money like that, yeah. it just go rolling down my leg, like what the, you know? <laughs> and see, that's the thing. If we're gonna, whatever we're gonna do, do the research behind what you do, yes. so that you know that you're doing God's will, right. and not the enemy's. Because that's why people go to church week after week, month after month, give all their money, give all their this, God, all that. They have nothing. Because they've sown, they're sowing into a dead man. So if you sow into a dead man or you sow into a dead ground, what happens? You get stuck. If it do grow, it's only going to grow to a certain inch and die. And if you eat it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get you sick. Amen? Amen. Let us pray because... I feel like I'm being pulled on and I want to go deep. Okay.